Hey everyone, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to transfer your Cardano from ADA Lite Wallet, if it's still there, or maybe it's on Coinbase, but transfer it on over to your Ledger product. In this case, I have a Nano X. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with the recording of this video, I'm enjoying Earthquake a Zinfandel from Lodi, California. It is a Michael David winery wine. It is fantastic. Um, obviously, a Zinfandel is going to be less full body than a cab, but this was surprisingly good. Um, a little bit more earthy than I expected and a little bit lighter, not as full body like I mentioned, but overall a fantastic Zinfandel. Go out and check it out um, if you want. And now back to the video. So jumping in right away, I have the Nano X here in my hand. You can use the Nano S or the S Plus. It'll still work, um, but I'm using the X today because that's what I want to put my Cardano onto. But go ahead and plug it in right away. If you're curious about what adapter I use, I'll put it in the link in the description below. And if you're ever curious about if you have the correct Ledger Live downloaded on your laptop or computer, go ahead and come to Apps and Services, do Ledger Live, and you can download the app there or scan it. It'll give you the correct link. For my sake here, we'll do the Mac app. It starts downloading. You guys know how that goes, but anyways, uh, make sure, please make sure that you download the appropriate app from their website. Do not mess around with clicking on email links because you will get scammed. Um, I had someone recently in the last couple weeks comment on one of my videos saying, hey, Ledger told me to restart my, my software and then it's asking for my 24 keyword seed phrase. Ledger will never do that. So make sure you download from their website to make sure you have the correct Ledger Live on your system. If you already have it on your computer, you don't have to worry about this step. But I wanted to let you know just in case something like that was happening, okay? So let's go ahead and pull up Ledger Live here. Let's put in our password. And once you are in Ledger Live, come on down to my Ledger. You're gonna then see it says, hey, connect and unlock your device. So you're going to put in your four digit pin there as you can see, or maybe it's an eight digit pin, whatever you decided to use. Let's go ahead and put that in. And now I have put in the pin. It will now say in a second here, right there, say allow Ledger Manager. So go ahead and click those two buttons right there. And we are in. The next step here, before we even start transferring Cardano over, we need to make sure that we have the Cardano app installed, but then also that the account is on, on, uh, on the ledger. And once you are in there, let's go ahead and check and make sure that uh, the Cardano app is available and make sure we don't have it installed yet. Whoops, there we go. And it shows me that yes, it is supported by Ledger Live, but I do need to install the app, so go ahead and install. It has about 132 kilobytes as of recording this video. So as you can see, this is why the Nano X is fantastic for holding your crypto accounts. Um, I'm still, I still have 1.33 megabytes free on the Nano X. It is fantastic as opposed to the Nano S. Um, I can have anywhere from two to three apps on the S. And so that's why the S plus or the X is fantastic in this case. All right, and we just got installed. So the next thing we need to do is do add an account. Okay. Now on the app, it's gonna show you, it's gonna say right there. It's gonna say open Cardano. Okay. Push both buttons, buttons, buttons. Cardano is ready. And then what it is doing right now is synchronizing to the blockchain. It's adding an account onto uh, your Nano X in my case here. So let's go and call this, I'm gonna make this here, ADA, let's do X, there we go, okay. And account added successfully. And if you're wondering why it said existing account, that was because I was testing with this before the video. Um, you could have added on a new account onto your X, or maybe you don't even see that option. It just says, hey, here's an account to create. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just create an account, name it whatever you want, and then move forward. All right, so we do have Cardano here on our Nano X, okay? We're then kinda gonna come on over to receive, select ADAX, okay, we, Please only send ADA or native tokens to Cardano accounts. Yes, correct. All right, and then it's gonna show again, open the ADA account right there. Click both buttons. 
is ready. And once you're at this point, it will show you the receiving address to plug into whatever you're sending from. So whether it's Coinbase, Gemini, or maybe it is in this case right now I'm doing ADA Light Wallet. This is the receiving address you want to put in there so that you know, hey, I'm sending my Cardano to this receiving address, all right? So now we have that address there, but before we do anything else, from here, let's go on over to ADA Light Wallet. There we go, continue. All right, and then how do you wanna access your Cardano wallet? Well, we're gonna do the hardware wallet option. And one thing here, I mentioned this in several videos ago when I was showing you how to set up the ADA Light Wallet. Uh, make sure that you don't have a VPN on, make sure you don't have an ad blocker that will affect you connecting with your hardware wallet. So make sure you shut those things off before you continue forward, okay? You'll have some major issues if you try to connect and everything. It's gonna give you some error messages. So just save yourself some time. Go and turn off any ad blockers or VPNs that you may have. Let's go ahead and click unlock with Ledger. I wanna show you this error message here because you may run across this. So it says, failed to open device, failed to open the device. Make sure other apps or websites interacting with your hardware wallet are closed. Also make sure you use the latest available version of Cardano. All right, so I do have Ledger opened at this moment. Let's go ahead and close Ledger out. But then you also want to make sure, you want to make sure that on your hardware wallet that you are inside the Cardano app. So that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. So let's do that here. So I have my Cardano app opened. Let's do unlock with Ledger. It's loading the wallet data. On your ledger right here, it's gonna say, confirm export six public keys, as you can see right there. And you're gonna click both buttons to confirm. All right. Now it says Cardano is ready. You should see it open up here on ledger. Okay, the latest news, go ahead and close. And like I mentioned before, from here, you're going to put in that receiving address right here on the send aspect, all right? So let's go back, let's get that receiving address from our Ledger Live account. So let's go ahead and copy that receiving address. Always double and triple check your address addresses just to make sure that everything is correct and you did not put in an extra character or two or maybe you deleted a couple. Always double check to make sure everything is correct. Perfect, so we're gonna select ADA because that's all I have here in my ADA Lite wallet, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna send everything over because I wanna show you guys how to do this here. I'm also doing it on another video for a Trezor product as well. So let's just go ahead and do 600. Go ahead and click send. You're then going to confirm the transaction address, that receiving address here the amount, everything there, but also it says to verify it on your ledger. So you need to do that as well here. Click both buttons at the same time to verify. It says sending path, yes, correct. Staking key path, yes. And then the address, double check to make sure that's correct. Push both buttons here to confirm. And then do you confirm the address? It's a question mark, yes. Okay, it says Cardano's ready, then confirm transaction. You may on your ledger see it may say new ordinary transaction, question mark. Go ahead and click yes, click both buttons, and then you can move on forward. Shows me my transaction fee. Confirm transaction, click both buttons. Transaction is pending. So now let's hop on over to Coinbase and I will show you how to do that on Coinbase and you'll be good to go. So go ahead and pull up your Coinbase app, go on over to Cardano. You're gonna scroll on down to your balance. As you can see, I don't have a ton of ADA. I have enough here to show you what to do. You're then going to click on that paper airplane. Your app may be a little different depending on when you're watching this video, but at the top right, there is a send button, okay? You're gonna see how much do you actually wanna send. So um, I'm gonna send about half of it. Let's just do 150 worth. So. There we go, do continue. Okay, and then send a crypto to a friend. No, not now. Uh, we're going to scan for that particular address. So I wanna click on receive here on my ledger live. 
Yes, and make sure you're only sending ADA, okay, to an ADA account. All right, it says device is locked. Well, okay, that's because we need to um, open it back up here. So you need to wake it back up. You're gonna going to put in your four digit pin if you were like me and you let it sit for a bit. All right, we have the app open currently right now. Let's go ahead and do retry. You're going to see your receiving address once again. Um, you can you know, copy and paste it and put it into your phone. The easiest way is just to scan the QR code. So show the QR code. Go ahead and click on the QR code button on your Coinbase app. Go ahead and scan it. Now double check the address, okay? You wanna make sure that you double and triple check that address. So we're good there. We're good there, good, good. Then go ahead and click on preview send. Okay, good, good, good. We have our network fee total being sent, awesome. And send now. And then Coinbase in this case is going to ask for a six digit code from your authenticator app. So go ahead and put that in. All right, I put that in. Let's see what happens next. There we go, successfully sent. So it sent it on over. All right, and it should update here. Yep, there, there we go. So now it's gone down to, I only have 280 and some change ADA in my Coinbase account. All right, and then let me show you here on Ledger. You can do verify address on the Nano. There we go. Confirm address, perfect, and done. And to confirm that it did go through on the blockchain, come on over to your Cardano account on Ledger Live. Go ahead and scroll on down to the transactions. You can see right here, the most latest one is right here that I did. You can see all the details on what you sent. The reason I have a bunch of asterisks on um, this transaction is because I'm hiding all the amounts within the app as I'm recording this video just for security purposes. But you can see all the different transactions, the ID, the from, the to, all that stuff there in terms of where you're sending to and from. But you can also see that, okay, it's not confirmed on, on the blockchain. It has been received but it has not been confirmed yet. There's only been two confirmations on the blockchain, just like um, when I sent it from ADA Lite Wallet. It is going through the confirmation phase on the blockchain to show that yes, this is a valid transaction. And there you go, that is how you send your Cardano from your ADA Lite Wallet, if you still have it there, or from say an exchange like Coinbase, send it on over to your Ledger Nano product. It's pretty simple, it's really easy. I hope you found this helpful. If you guys did like this content, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment in the section below if you're having issues. Hopefully I showed you enough like error messages so you can see how to combat those error messages and fix it and move on to have a successful transaction. But anyways guys, hope this was helpful. As always, let me know what you like to see down the road and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.